Well, it's summertime, but that doesn't mean the coronavirus threat is on vacation. Today in our Family First segment, Dr. Elizabeth Murray has some advice on how to enjoy the sunshine while staying safe. So can we be safe and have fun in the sun this summer, even in, during the coronavirus? You bet. There's a couple additional safety measures we're going to want to take, but we want to make sure we're remembering all the other safety measures that we are always paying attention to. So wearing your sunscreen. Everybody needs to have a broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30. And you're putting a lot of sunscreen on. The average person needs about a shot glass full of sunscreen applied over their body and repeating that every two hours. So you're going to be buying sunscreen frequently this summer if you're using it correctly. Then sunglasses for kids who can wear them and tolerate them it's always nice to have a little extra eye protection and then remember our littlest ones the six month or younger really need to be kept out of the direct sunlight sunscreen is not great for them and they just don't do as good of a job of regulating their temperatures and so that brings me to getting too hot make sure everybody is taking water breaks when it's really hot outside and avoiding the sun during the peak time so usually about 11 to 2 p.m. is going to be when it's the hottest out you don't have to do any of the fancy sports drinks for normal outdoor activity water should be just fine and then when it comes to water swimming swimming is an area where we have to think about some coronavirus risks and that's because of increased touch points so water in itself is going to be just fine in the pool but if we're using a public pool or if we're using a neighbor's pool we need to be careful about the common areas so making sure the gate handles are wiped down frequently we're not sharing pool toys with other people from other households and and watching out for pool chairs and things along those lines as far as we want to decrease the common touch points. Nobody should be wearing a mask in the water and usually out of the pool there's plenty of space and so people can physically distance but if you're going to have a long time of contact with people close together you should still be wearing a mask for those people over two who are able to wear masks. When you're coming and going from your adventures maybe you're riding some bikes make sure everybody is wearing a helmet and they know the rules of the road. Helmets are a must for kids. If they were to fall, we can fix broken bones, but we cannot fix broken brains. So please be careful there. Again, the key changes are, for this summer are going to be decreasing common touch points, wearing your mask when you can, wearing your sunscreen, keeping safe around the pool, and plenty of ways you can still have fun. Thank you, as always, to Dr. Murray for her valuable advice. If you missed any of our conversation with Dr. Murray, or would like to watch other Family First segments, head to rochesterfirst.com.